Good day everyone. Today I am tasked to discuss one of the topic in theories of crime perception which is the somatotyping theory and physiognomy. By the way, I am Nerino Abweg and I hope you will be learning our discussion. But before I will proceed, let me first ask you a question. Have you ever thought to yourself that someone you saw, someone looked like a criminal? Even though we know, we know logically that isn't something simply observed just by looking by someone. Like for example, you saw a man walking down a street having a big muscle and many tattoos in her skin. Skin, And you said, ah, criminal siguro to. Tagnan mo, ang dami niyang tattoo galing preso. Someone like that. So, on our topic now, it will be it will have a big connection. So now let us proceed. So mathotyping theory and physiognomy. There are actually a few criminological theories developed many years ago that attempted to establish a connection between person's physical build and appearance and their likelihood to commit a crime. These theories are referred to as as the somatotype theory and one of the most commonly associated with this theory is William Sheldon. So, sino nga ba si William Sheldon? William Herbert Sheldon Jr. He was born on November 19, 1898 and died at September 17, 1977. He was an American psychologist and numismatist. He created the field of somatotype and constitutional psychology that correlate body types. By the way, numismatist is the person who studies and collects coins and medals. Also, in this slide, it says that he came to the conclusion that there was a link between a bodily type and personality. At dahil nga naniniwala siya na mayroong koneksyon ang personalidad at kat at panlabas ng katangian ng isang tao, he created the field of somatotype and constitutional psychology. So, ano nga naman ang somatotyping theory? So now, this is the illustration of somatotyping theory. So, as what you can see, you saw a three-body figure. The first is normal or thin body. The second one is a body build or a muscular type of body. And the third one is the round shaped body or a body that have fats. So, ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng tatlong figure na ito? And how it connects to the somatotype theory? So now, let us know the definition of somatotyping theory. So now, what is somatotype theory? Somatotyping is the classifying of people into types according to body build. Somatotype theory relates to distinctive body types to personality, characteristic, and relates to criminal behavior to the body types. Somatotype theory is most commonly associated with William Sheldon. So, dito naman dahil nga sinasabi o pinaniniwalaan ni William Sheldon na may koneksyon ang personalidad at panlabas na katangian ng isang tao, he decided to create a theory, which is the somatotyping theory. And it was categorized into three, which is the endomorphy, mesomorphy, and ectomorphy. So now, let us know what is endomorphic body type. So as what you can see on this slide, there a man having a big, malaking chan and a body fat type. So, ano nga ba ang katangian nito? It is a soft body, underdeveloped muscle, round shape, overdeveloped digestive system. And 
ang karaniwan namang personalidad ng mga ganitong tao ay love of food. Dahil nga sa mataba sila, um, mahilig sila kumain. Tolerant, evenness of, evenness of emotion, love of comfort, sociable, good humor, relaxed, and need for affection. And for and for ectomorphic body type, these are thin or quiet, flat-chested, delicate build, young appearance, tall, lightly muscled, stub-shouldered, and large brain. At ang karaniwan ng personalidad o traits nito ay self-conscious, preference for privacy, introvert, or gusto lang nila, mag-isa lang sila, socially anxious, artistic, mentally intense, and emotionally restrained. And for mesomorphic body type, or ito naman yung a muscle muscle. Ito, they are hard muscular body type or yung muscle nga, overly mature appearance, rectangular shape, thick skin, and upright posture. At ang karaniwan ng mga personalidad ng mga taong ito ay adventurous, desire for powers and dominance, courageous, indifference to what others think or want, Assertive, bold, zest for physical activity, competitive, and love of risk and chance. So, dito, um, inilarawan or sinabi ni William Sheldon na ang mga karaniwang nagkocommit daw ng crime ay ang mga mesomorphic bad type. Dahil daw sila ay masyadong agresibo or competitive kumbaga uh, they are uh, he said that this commonly body type have uh, also committed crime so naman ngayon alamin natin yung mga research relevant sa sinabi niya um, bago nga muna natin alamin yung mga relevant research about the theory of William Sheldon. Ito nga pala ang short summary of William Sheldon theory. Ayan. Pakikita nyo sa chart na to yung tatlong sinabi ko kanina. According to some research, Sheldon's idea has been pushed back into the closet or kept unknown to criminologists, according to Raffer, 2007. Because specialists in the causes of crime are not ready to bury the idea, but at the same time, hesitate to put in display due to the certainty of his idea, even get into their field to begin with. Also, it says that some of researchers believe that the idea of William Sheldon leave an impression that indeed the relationship exists between body build and criminality. Therefore, somewhat agreeing with William Sheldon model. So, so, dito naman, si sinasabi naman dito na karamihan sa mga criminologists o specialists ay disangayon sa mga binigay na facts or info ni William Sheldon. Hindi naman sa dinis regard ang tenuring pre-repose niya, kundi nanatili na lamang itong isang teorya. So, di ba, alam naman natin that the theory is the word of the mean as untested or hunch or a guess without supporting evidence. So now, let us proceed on our next topic which is the physiognomy at alamin naman natin ito kung ano ang naging connection nito sa naunang topic. So now, let us define what is physiognomy. Physiognomy from the Greek word Thesis meaning nature, and nomon meaning judge or interpreter. It is the practice of assessing a person's character or personality from their appearance, especially their face. So, 
kung kanina sa somatotype ay body type at person physical attributes ang pinag-aaralan, dito naman tinitignan ang panlabas ng kaanyuan at, pers at ang koneksyon nito sa personalidad ng isang tao, particularly their face, in order to learn more about their personality. So, alamin naman natin ang uh, physiognomy and history to. to. Um, ancient, ancient physiognomy. An expert in art by the 4th century BC, the philo philosopher Aristotle frequently referred to theory and literature concerning the relationship of appearance to character. Aristotle was receptive to such an idea evidenced by a passage in his prior analytics. So, sa period, dito sa period na ito, unang lumitaw ang idea na may kaugnayan sa pagitan ng um, mukha or physical na ka kaanyuan ng isang tao sa kanyang panloob na katangian. Um, dito naman sa middle or middle and reference ay Middle and Renaissance period, the term physiognomy was common in Middle English, often written as physnomy or visnomy. Around this time, scholastic leaders settled on a more erudite Greek from physiognomy and began to discourage the entire concept of physnomy. Uh, dito sa period nito, Leonardo da Vinci on 16th century um, dismiss a uh, physiognomy in as false because um, kiniklaim niya na or sinasabi niya na there is no scientific foundation so, but also um, Leonardo believed that the line caused by facial expression could indicate the personality traits at, ang, at itong panghuli naman ang modern physiognomy uh, the principal promote or physiognomy in modern time was the Swiss pastor Johann Caspar Lavater in 1741 up to 1801, who was briefly a friend of Gauda Lavater's essay on physiognomy, were first published in German in 1972 and gained great popularity. Dito naman sa period nito, uh, naging popular na ang word na physiognomy. Ito, the popularity of physiognomy grew throughout the first quarter of 18th century into 19th century. It was discussed seriously by academics who believe in potential. Many European novelists use physiognomy in description of their characteristic. So, bago nating tapusin ang uh, presentasyon, uh, ito yung naging conclusion sa buong naging discussion. Profiling people solely on the basis of their physical characteristic is unreliable and unpleasant. So, alam naman natin na hindi, hindi laging basihan lang kung ano yung nakikita natin para i-judge or i-describe ang isang and if you want more information, here are the reference that uh, nakinuhaan ko. At again, this is the, the end of our discussion. At nagiiwan ng isang katagang, it is very important to carefully observe the things we see before we judge. Things aren't always as they appear. Hindi lahat ng nakikita ng mata ay tama. Again, I am Marinol Abweg from BC BSC 18. Thank you, everyone.